you guys happy uh kamari fly lady day four yep day four is day four what day is it Tuesday? wednesday day five <laughs> i'm all off today for day five so here's my outfit today i just have on this burgundy shirt i love burgundy some black pants and my shoes. So I'm dressed to shoes. And my hair and face is done. <clears throat> I was looking for some of my favorite earrings. But I guess I lost them. I have like some drop down earrings that have like burgundy in them. Oh, here they are. Here they are. See? Aren't these pretty? You want to see that? They go perfect with my shirt. So I'm gonna wear those today. I love these earrings. They're so cute. So I'm not gonna wear a necklace because I have this pussy bow tie situation going on. So yeah, let's go check on our sink to make sure nobody put anything in it last night. Now I need to try it before I go. Jaden, you better hurry up. So this is our sink. Nice and shiny. And there's my sticky note. To remind my mama mostly that I'm trying to keep my sink nice and clean. Um, I might keep getting out of focus. Uh, the state of my room is still the state it was last night, but I'll show it to y'all anyway. So those are the pajamas we're going to be working on later on today when I get off work. I don't know what I'm going to do with that fabric. And then we have this whole junk thing here. And all of this stuff over here. And that. And then in that bucket right here. That's all the jewelry I'm giving away. So I need to put it in the Ziploc bag. So we're getting we're getting along real well. It was looking real rough that first day one of y'all. And this is garbage. That's garbage. That's garbage. So yeah. That's what my room is looking like. So last night she said we should be thinking about negative thoughts and I discussed it a little bit with you guys last night about sometimes I feel like I be starting stuff and I'll never finish it or I try to clean up but I really don't be cleaning up for real. Um, so we're not going to talk about those negative thoughts. She told us to write them down. I'll probably write them down when I get home. But um. <clears throat> We will get this done, you guys. If y'all with me, sometimes it can be overwhelming to clean up after so many years. I've been living in this house for 11 years, and I've cleaned up and thrown things out, but I don't get rid of enough stuff. Like, I just keep stuff because, oh, I paid for it. Oh, it still sort of fits, but I ain't never going to wear it. Or, oh, I paid for it, but I really didn't like it, but I'm going to keep it because I bought it, you know, and I paid money for it, so... If I ain't going to wear it, it don't need to stay in this house, point blank, period. If I, now I know to be wiser with my money in the future. If I don't like a shirt or I sort of like it or I don't love it, I don't need to buy it. It needs to stay at the store um, and that's where it needs to stay. So that's what I'm going to have to start doing. <clears throat> and that includes all other kind of gadgety. Because I'm like, well, I use my gadgets. Like, there's all other kind of, like, household things and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. I'm going to put in my earrings, make my little breakfast right quick, which is just a protein shake, and me and the little one, see, aren't these cute? Me and the little one are going to go to school and work, so I will see y'all later. Bye. Hey, you guys. Welcome to day five <clears throat> of the Kamari and Fly Lady Challenge. So I am almost finished cooking dinner. I changed clothes because it is hot in this house. I thought my AC was broken, but I fixed it. Thank you, Jesus, because I didn't want to have to use my emergency, my home maintenance fund to pay for nothing. I'm trying to build it up, okay? I remember what my AC man said. He said, if the lights go out, turn off the breaker, turn it back on, and it should work. And it worked like a charm, so I'm so happy. But anyway we off subject so today uh, step five i did read it last night but just for day five i mean just for um a recap we got drace up to lay shoes this morning we had our sink that was shining 
Um, you can go on the website and read the Fly Lady message. I really don't do that, so sorry. Um, and I saw my post-it note this morning on my mirror to dress the shoes, and I saw my post-it note this morning that said to shine my kitchen sink. So, yes. Um, so, she told us to write down all of our negative, nagging, nagging, negative voices that are in our head. And once we do that, we are to counteract that by writing positive phrases. And if you would like, she said to write them down and stick them up somewhere so that you can read them later. Now, you guys can go ahead and do that. I don't really need to do that. Just by looking at my closet gives me all the positive I need. <laughs> So that is what we're doing today. Um, so it says turn your negative words into positive phrases. So yeah, so my room is still looking like it looked this morning when I came. Um, so what we're going to be tackling today is this pile of pajamas right there. That skirt is my daughter's. That sweater is so heavy I can't even hang it up on a hanger. I need a better hanger, so I'm going to find a hanger for that. Then there's some towels back there that I don't know what it, what are you doing, but that's that. And then that trash is still over there. The garbage man did come, but I'm too lazy to go get the trash can, so I'll probably get it tomorrow. I'll probably need to put some more trash in there anyway. Because um, hopefully I will be through with the clothes section of the KonMari method today. And then have enough time to move on to books so all of my books and stuff but I thought papers were included in there but papers are next so if I finish my books then I can do my papers and I have lots and lots and lots oh and did I say some more and some more lots of paper everywhere in this room and bins and drawers everywhere it's gonna be out paper's gonna take me a minute so yeah um yeah so let's go see if dinner is finished and then i'll come back when dinner is finished and we'll get to folding the pajamas all right you guys time to fold the pajamas but tonight i have something to do it's going to take me a couple of hours so what i'm going to do tonight is i'm just going to finish the pajamas which will end the clothes portion of the conmary method and <clears throat> for clothes and then tomorrow we'll probably work on books unless okay so it's 6 18 now i'm gonna stop working at eight o'clock instead of nine o'clock um tonight and if i can get this done in about 15 minutes then i'll start pulling out the books and stuff to put in here because i think this is a good place for me to do this um it has good lighting and it's closed off so i can close the door when i not look at the mess so i'll stop like i said when i get through doing this and then i'll start pulling papers and is it books it's just books all the books that i have in my room like i said i'm doing this by room i know you're not supposed to but i told you guys my situation so this is just what i'm gonna have to do for right now but eventually i will be able to do the whole house and i might do another challenge when i do that process but I wanted to get started at least in my room so at least in my room is nice and serene and stuff when I get home so let's see how fast I can do this and then I'm gonna actually time myself this time and see how fast I can do it how fast I can do this and then we'll start pulling out books and stuff and if I have time I might go through them if I don't it just depends on when I get through so let's get started
All right, you guys, it took me 25 minutes and 47 seconds to fold those clothes. And if you saw me moving around the video, I do have a recommendation for anybody who is sitting on the floor. Don't do it. Sitting on the floor for the last three days folding clothes, my back is hurting. So that's why I was moving all around. I was trying to get a better angle to this nest. So I think I'm going to rethink where I'm going to put this paper. I need to put the paper up somewhere high so I can sit up in a chair not have to be on this floor looking through paper because it hurts my back so let's go ahead and put up your pajamas so all right you guys so i told you guys i have pajama sets pajama t-shirts a pajama short short set and then i have these men's pajama bo pajama bottoms that i like to wear with my tank tops so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the sets together i have two flannel sets one silk slit set one just regular cotton set and then those like polyester silky sets. So I'll probably put the polyester silky sets in between the other ones so they won't be sliding everywhere and falling in the drawer. But I'm about to put these up. Okay, you guys. So in this drawer is all the pajamas I own. So I own one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pajama sets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight including this um men's pajama bottoms two pajama shirts and that's it that's so all i need these are my favorite i wear these all the time so i'll be glad to rotate them in and out so now that i think i have an hour i am going to start collecting books yes it's 6 56 so that's good i have time to do the books, I am officially done with the clothes portion of the Kanmari method. What I'm going to do is, because my back hurt and I ain't going to be bothered with this, is I have a cart in my room that I use sometimes to put on makeup and stuff. So I'm just going to roll it out of my bathroom. It's eventually going to go in the garbage can. I just haven't done it yet. Haven't let it go yet because I was trying to get my room together I'm gonna stack all the books that I need to go through onto this cart right here and that way I can sit on the bed and sort it out when I'm ready to do that so let's go let me see what this thing says about books what kind of books so we got cookbooks general books kids books magazines reference and textbooks and phone books. I ain't got no phone books. I ain't got no reference and no textbooks, but I probably got magazines, maybe some kid books in here. And well, I do have a reference book. I have a dictionary right there. And cookbooks. I don't think I have any cookbooks. I might have some cookbooks out there. I will go collect books now. I'll be back. Let's see how long it takes me to collect books. All right, you guys, so it took me 23 minutes to find all the books in my room and in my daughter's room. She does have a box of books, but we know all of those are going to the thrift store. store. So Jalen is going to go through her books first, mm -hmm. and then I will go through my books next. So let's see if we can get y'all here in a good angle. All right, stand right there, Jalen. All right, right here. Yep. Let's see. All right. The shim, the shimmer shine queen. No. The velveteen rabbit. Mm-mm. Betty and Veronica. Yes. <laughs> Dick and Jane. No. See, I kind of old that. My Bible of first promises. Sure. I'll keep it. I'm just kidding, you know. Are you going to, do you have to base it off, do you like this book? Does it bring you joy? Uh, I don't really read it, though. No, then. This is my book, and the answer is no. Your yearbook? The answer is yes. Okay. Child's first Bible? No. This is the stable? No.
and put them on your bookshelf. Okay. Yay, my memories. <laughs> all right, you guys, so I'm gonna sit here and go through my books, which is not a big stack at all. At all. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. I read it, love it. Not enough to, I don't reread books, so I don't even know why I keep books. One Hour Garden, how you can have a no fuss garden, no work, no work garden. To tell you the truth, I've had this book for years. And I really want to start a garden, but if I decide to ever start one, I just need to buy a new book. Point blank period. A magazine, a magazine, no. Favorite brand name made Simple Chicken. So this was chicken recipes that I wanted to try. But to tell you the truth, whenever I make these recipes, they didn't really sound appeasing at that moment. But when I go through it, now I'm kind of like, okay, Kiyosha, you might, you know, you might make a couple things. So I'm, I'm going to try it. I'm going to give this another try. I really... I mean, does it bring me joy? Do I use it all the time? No, but I feel like that now that I'm ready to cook and try different recipes, it can bring me joy. So I'm gonna put it over there as a yes. Steak, chops, roast, and ribs. No, because I can't eat. I'm not supposed to eat ribs, roast, chops, or steak. So I don't need a cookbook about it. I'm not supposed to eat all the time, so I don't even need to have a cookbook about it. All of these are magazines. For some reason, my mama leaves to, to bring magazines home. My Vogue issue with Michelle Obama on it, I must keep. Yes, yes, yes. This is history. I don't care. I'm keeping it. It brings me all kinds of joy. She will slay it up in this version. Okay. All right. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Was a Weight Watchers that I never, ever, ever was going to do. This is simple handmade storage. So it shows you how to make things to store stuff. And to tell you the truth, I'm actually finna start building things in my home. And I really liked all of this stuff in here. Like, look at this bookshelf they made. So I, this is gonna bring me some joy in the future. It, re it really is. Um, a book, no. Casual Vacancy, I already read it. Um, I have a journal. This is my journal for when I was going through some dark times in my life. Back in, this journal is like back in 2009, you got 2008, 2009. So it doesn't bring me joy, but it does remind me where I came from and I'm super excited to be where I am after I wrote the stuff in here so I'm definitely keeping that. My life application study bible, yes this brings me joy. I don't read it every day like I should but now that we're doing the fly lady and Conmari, I might actually have time to read and start back getting into my bible. Definitely want to do that. Another journal that I bought, I love the saying on this. It says, for I know the plans I have you for you, declares the Lord. Plans to, pros to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Yes, I'm all for it, Lord. Hook a sister up. Okay. So, let's see what we got down here. Jalen had to drop the books because they got heavy. Um, Without regrets, no matter where you are, where you've been, you can happen. I don't know nothing about this book. I don't know where it came from. No. How to Win Friends and Influence People? No. Get into the Bible? No. Quick and Easy Meals, Celebrity Dishes from TV Guide. Uh, no. I can tell by the recipes in here that I ain't cooking none of this. Y'all, I used to want to know how to cook so bad that I collected these food and family. They used to send them to me. You know, you could sign up for them. And I kept every last one of these from, let me tell y'all the dates on this is how embarrassing it is. Y'all, this is from when I lived and still live in Birmingham and not in this house. This stuff is from 2006, 7, 5. Yes, they are old, old, old. So, no. Not keep. 
Okay. And I have Grown Folk Business, which I read already. That's a no. The Super Nanny. Now, why did I have a book on Super Nanny? Maybe my child was acting up. Maybe I thought I could do some better disciplining. I don't even know. But, um, uh, I ain't never used this book. So, no. That was a no for me. Then we have North American Guide to... North American Emergency Response Guide. That's my ex's book. Definitely. No. And, y'all, that is all the books and magazines that I have. What time is it? Do I have time to, to I don't have time to collect all the papers. If y'all can see all the papers that I have in my room, it's 7.31. Maybe I can start and do it till 8 o'clock. So, let me just go and collect what I can until 8 o'clock since I'm through with all of these books. I'm going to actually need to find somewhere to put something to put these books in so I can actually donate them. So I need to figure that out. I don't have any boxes so I'm going to have to figure out how to stack them up by the door and maybe take a couple of books at a time and drop them off. I don't know. But yes, let me go around my room and collect paper until 8 o'clock and then I'll be back to close out the KonMari challenge for tonight, but the Fly Lady challenge is not over until right before I go to bed. So, let's collect paper. I went a little bit over my time. It is 8.07, so I need to quit because I have other things to do. But I'm going to show you all the paper I have found so far. So, all of this paper is what I have found. Doesn't look like a lot, but it's like folders and folders of paper. And receipts and things and look what I found you guys so I told you guys I used to do the fly lady and this was my laminated and this is what my morning routine used to be make the bed load the laundry exercise shower and swish and swipe get ready dry laundry swish and swipe sink oh shower and swish and swipe the shower and then I would oh I would shower and then swish and swipe my bathroom Get ready, dry the laundry, swish and swipe the sink and vanity area in my room. Swish and swipe kids' bathroom and get ready to leave. And then at night, I used to exercise. So exercise on there twice. So if I didn't exercise in the morning, I would exercise at night. So I didn't exercise twice a day, if y'all was wondering. And then I had hot spot kitchen, living room, and the entryway because stuff used to pile up there. Swish and swipe the kids' bathroom after they went to bed. Put clothes away. Um, shower, and then I would swish and swipe again. Yeah, because I would shower twice. Because I would shower in the morning after I took a exercise. If I exercise, I would shower at night. Because sometimes I would exercise. Then I would swish and swipe my sink and vanity area. I would tidy my room, and then I would get ready for bed. So, this sounds like what my routine is going to be when we get to these morning and night routines. Something sort of like that. So, I guess I used to do my hot spots. In the evening and not in the morning. So, yeah. We'll see. That's interesting to find after going through all the pa finding the papers. I found that. Hmm. Interesting, right? So, I still have to go through this box because I know there's some manuals in here. Like, here's a manual right here. Gonna put that in the pile. I need to stop working. And then, I think the other place that there is paper at in my house that I can do something with is my buffet right here and maybe in here might be some of my papers but could not be and I think that's it yeah, I think that's it that's the only places where I would keep paper I try not to keep stuff all around the house I try to have everybody can um, conceal all of their mess into their room. So that should be all the paper. I may have papers in another bin under my bed. And I think that's the only other places because these two bins on the floor had paper in them as well, important papers and stuff. So I need to, I got those out and put them there. So I will be back later when I get ready to shine my sink, but it's done with the Kanmari today so I am on the paper section to recap I finished my clothes tonight the last thing I do is my pajamas and you guys saw that 
And so tomorrow we'll be working on paper because I have to go through each paper individually and I have to decide, I think, what I have to keep and the rest of it I probably have to shred. I don't know if I'll be able to actually, because most of the paper I keep has important information on it. Some of it I kept because I didn't have a shredder and didn't shred it. So I didn't want to throw it in the garbage can, so that's why I still have it. But other things I think I will be able to take and get shredded because that's what I'm going to have to do. It has to get out of this house, so... I'm going to have to think of something. But I'm just rambling. So I will talk to you guys when it's time to shine that sink. guys so my sink is shining and I'm about to go to bed excuse my hair I did take it down so sorry if I look weird <clears throat> but yeah tonight I'm going to bed and let's go ahead and do a last overview of everything that I've done today so here is my closet everything is still the way it was earlier besides those pillows and those Tupperware because I had to take this Tupperware down to get the papers out for the KonMari um, paper challenge those are dresses that I need to get hangers for and I don't have any more hangers so I'm just gonna go buy hangers just for that and then that's it and then this is my bedroom i started to light it out so i'll brighten it up but this is my bedroom so all of this needs to be sorted sorted this is all the papers once again but as you can see there's no more clothes anywhere at all it's junky but ain't no more clothes um so let's and read what we're gonna do for in the morning so I can be prepared so we're finished with day five day five is over so tomorrow on day six it says so far we are getting dressed to lace shoes keeping our sink shining reading our fly lady emails <laughs> looking at our post-it reminders which is our um, reminder on our sink that says to keep the sink shining and then on our bathroom mirrors to tell us to get um, dressed to laced up shoes. And then recognizing our negative voices. Of course, if you say anything negative to yourself, because I can say so much negative stuff about how this room looks. I'm like, she got me doing all this stuff. My room looks a mess. But it's a process. It's not an over day. I mean, an overnight or even a, a next day. A next day it takes weeks, months to get your house in order if you lived in chaos for so long. As, I mean, it's not mine, wasn't like chaos. Every but stuff was everywhere, but it didn't everything didn't have a home, but you weren't falling over stuff, and it wasn't stuff in the middle of the floor. It wasn't until I started doing this process, shit was in the middle of the floor. But you get what I'm saying. So, after that, it says, Today we are going to learn about hot spots. We all have them. Not sure what a hot spot is. Read the definition in our fly, fly frequent acts questions. Now, set your timer for two minutes and practice putting out your hot spot. You don't have to work until you have finished. Just do what you can in two minutes. Put your bills in one place. That's just a suggestion, I think. That will keep you from having to search for them. Your timer can be your best friend. After you set it for two minutes and clear off your hot spot, send an email saying, I can do anything for two minutes in the subject line. And then she says, play some games with yourself by seeing how long it takes you to empty your dishwasher, reboot your laundry, fold a load of clothing, or make your bed. These times are going to surprise you. Oh, that's funny because that's what I did there. I timed myself folding up stuff. Um, took me 45 minutes to fold up some laundry. Was it 25 or 25? Okay, so I guess in the morning we will read what a hot spot is. And... Um, <clears throat> We'll go over that in the morning and then I will decide what my hot spot is and do a hot spot cleanup for two minutes. I kind of have an idea what my hot spot is and it's my desk, you guys. 
my desk and my dresser. So I have to choose which one's the most messiest in the morning. But we'll read over what a hot spot is and, you know, what to do about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the baby step, the KonMari Fly Lady Challenge Day 5. Baby step 5 for the Fly Lady and for KonMari, Con she don't have steps. We're just working on paper is where we left off. And tomorrow we will continue paper and we will continue Fly Lady in the morning. So y'all have a good night. Bye.